everyone, welcome back to the Atkins Rotary Channel. Today, we're going to discuss the adapter plate and how to put it on your piston engine stand. There's two different ways that I know of you can do it. And we're also going to discuss where and how to mount the, this plate to the engine. So, let's get into it. So here we have your standard engine stand. You would basically get it at your local hardware store, auto parts store. Heck, you might even have a friend of yours with one in the garage. This is a universal stand that can be used on just about anything, but it can be a little harder to do on the rotary cars. <clears throat> Well, after you get your, all your little fingers moved around, that's what it'll end up looking like. Some cases, in this case, I was able to use all four. In this case, I was able to use all four. Some cases, you may only need to use three. It just depends on your setup. Another option you have is if you don't have all of your mounting fingers or brackets, you know, these pieces, you can also bolt that, bolt this plate directly to it. instead of all four it'll still hold it'll still get the job done and just like with your mounting fingers, you can turn it whatever direction you need to. Now, another issue most of you guys have that are 93 and newer engines is you only have one mounting stud where 91 and older, you had two. There'd be another one right there. And to save yourself the cost of buying extra nuts and bolts and hardware or finding them, whatever, use what you have in the car already. In this case, this is an RX-8 front iron plate, side housing, whatever you want to call it. And to bolt this up, we're gonna bolt, we're gonna mount our plate here to keep it stable. Grab one of your engine mount bolts, and it'll thread right in. And this is one of the stands that we built using our adapter plate. But if you look, you can put it on, but there's no way to help hold it. So this is where your motor mount bolt comes in handy. So in this case, it's bolted up, it's ready to go. Now 
for you guys with pre-93 stuff, this bolt here is the same as your bell housing bolt. Or if you have air conditioning uh, still in the car or power steering, use this top bolt and it'll do the same job. The other thing you want to do is, if you have it, at least put minimum of one nut or two nuts on, you know, at least two ways to mount this on so it doesn't fall off. Anyway, this kind of gives you an idea of how it's going to look, how it's going to be bolted. Hope this helps. So thank you for watching, liking. Let me know what else you guys want to see. The idea is to put out a video at least a week. And whether it's technical help, which is what I really want to do, or just something fun to, to show off, let me know. Thanks for watching.